Did you know that stuff can travel faster than light? But wait, that's impossible, you say. What would that even look like? Allow me to explain Cherenkov radiation. First, let's start with the history. Pavel Cherenkov, with Ilya Frank and Igor Tom, detected using experimental methods in 1934 with the help of Sergei Vavilov. You are absolutely right. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum because of relativity. And that speed is C. C is 299,792,458 meters per second. Whew, saying that is almost as hard as getting close to the speed of light. However, light only travels that fast in a vacuum. In different mediums, light appears to slow down. A medium is any substance light or any other wave travels through. Now how I said light appears to slow? Light doesn't actually slow per se. It travels at sea, but it is interrupted constantly by the atoms of the medium. Through something called the photoelectric effect, electrons absorb and re-emit light, and that light travels to another atom where the process repeats. Light travels through the medium in this way. The photoelectric effect takes a very short time. However, with so many atoms, this effect is apparent and light appears to slow. If we shoot a particle, say an electron at 99% C, using a particle accelerator, what will happen when the electron and the light waves enter a medium like water? Light travels at 75% C in water, so... Suddenly, the electron is traveling faster than the light can appear in the medium. The traveling electron will interact with other photons, absorbing and emitting light while it travels. As you can see in the animation, when light is emitted by the electron, the waves propagate slower than the electron travels, creating a cone shockwave. And that is Cherenkov radiation. The closer to light's apparent speed an electron is, the wider the cone. The farther from light's apparent speed, the narrower the cone. The blue glow of nuclear reactors is actually because of Cherenkov radiation. It's blue because the speed of the particle is shortening the wavelengths you see, and blue light occurs since it has a shorter wavelength than other visible light colors. So, why does it matter? Apart from being Cherenkoviously fascinating, it can be used to identify and categorize particles such as neutrinos and figure out the radioactivity of fuel rods that were used in nuclear power plants. Cherenkov radiation can even be used in other fields, like the medical field, where the effect is used to image the body, or astrophysics, where it's used to determine the direction of cosmic rays. So, thanks to Cherenkov radiation, it turns out you can appear to travel faster than light with a cool shock wave as well. See ya later!